Oh no, we're all out of tomatillo salsa. Who's gonna make more? Will Will. Wanna make it? Yeah. Wanna try it? Yeah. Wanna do it? Yeah. Then let's get to it. Hi, I'm Will, and I will make tomatillo salsa verde. This recipe is quick, it's fun, it's easy, it's low carb, it's low sugar, it's gluten free, it's keto friendly, it's vegan, it's amazing. Every time I make this recipe, I wish I made more because it is gone in a snap. This recipe makes approximately four cups of delicious salsa verde using uh, tomatillos. I want to thank you for watching this video and welcome to my channel. Tools, cutting board, a bowl, I use the container that I'm going to store it in, a sharp knife, a juicer, measuring spoons, and a spatula or spoon. Pro Tools, a bench scraper. Salsa joke! What's a tortilla chip's favorite dance? The salsa! Meh. Meh. This recipe is as easy as chop, plop, eat, repeat. You'll see what I mean. How to choose the best tomatillos. You want to choose a tomatillo with a nice, tight, papery husk. Not a loose, saggy, papery husk. Simply peel and remove their jacket. Then rinse the sticky fruit. Salsa joke! What did the salsa say when it won the carnival game? Chip chip hooray! Mm. Ingredients. One small onion, diced. About one cup. Two jalapenos, minced. About a half a cup. A half a bunch of cilantro, finely chopped. About a quarter cup. The star of the show. 16 ounces of finely chopped tomatillos. About three cups. Now for seasoning. Add an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of chili powder. One half teaspoon of cumin. One half teaspoon garlic powder. One half teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. Two tablespoons of white vinegar. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Salsa joke! And why do tortilla chips prefer tomatillo salsa? It's verde verde good! Eh. Now stir. You really want to get everything coated with that lemon juice and vinegar. It's going to be like a pickling liquid. As it sits in the fridge overnight, it's going to marinate. It's going to get spicier. If you want to add less spice, you can add less jalapenos, less seasoning. You can remove the ribs and seeds of a jalapeno. The flavor develops the longer you let it sit in the refrigerator. I would say eight hours, and I'm gonna try it with my low-carb, yummy, savory crackers. If you'd like the recipe for these low-carb crackers, I'll put the link in the description below. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Fresh, spicy, zippy, tangy. Oh, it's so good. See you later. And there you have our tomatillo salsa verde. It is yummy and delicious and vegan and low carb and keto friendly and gluten free and low sugar. All the good things for you and it's raw. What do you do with tomatillo salsa? Said the one person that doesn't know. Put it on anything. You can add it to soups, salads, sandwiches, or enjoy it by the spoonful or on chips or crackers. Thanks for watching. And just to show you care, you can subscribe, thumbs up, or even share! Thanks for watching.